so it's um, five past ten on the 20th of April. Um, we're in Loughborough. You don't know this, but this is just the state. Um, I didn't make the 4 a.m. alarm, knackered. <laughs> but Loughborough, festivity starts at nine. The bit Loughborough you need to snow. And I'm heading down to the Loughborough Market Square to cover the torch relay. Already, the sponsors are apparent in my garden. Which is always nice. So, me and my my Brompton, and are going to see how far one person can get in terms of media coverage of the talk really. So, following on from John Smith this morning, we'll see what happens. Okay. So, it's a lovely um, day. Here I am in Loughborough Town Centre, which is well, not really just the start of Loughborough Town Centre. Lots of people wandering around. I've got the the friendly ambulance crew in place for the torch relay. It's going to arrive at 11.05. We've got some friendly national sponsors, G4 Security, but I think they're just there for the bank. I've uh, managed to bust my chain on my bike, so I've got dirty, dirty paws, dirty mitts. So, it's going to be quite interesting, I think. Loughborough, the centre of student shouldn't sport in Europe but also the centre of people that wear um, flip flops in July and also in January because of that desperate to get into the sport so I'm going to carry on looking like an idiot talking to myself so I can bring to you what a trial Olympic event might look like so I'm going to go down here and see what I can see and what will happen when I start looking a bit odd. So this is what the torch really route looks like. These must be some people that are planning it and their baby. Possibly. There's a lot of people wearing branded tracksuits so I made sure I wear my um, British Olympic Foundation tracksuit so I blend in with the festivities that is the Torch really. Let's walk down here. We can pick up some stuff. Play some facts about Loughborough. Maybe I think Loughborough. Yeah, I think it's just known for sport, really. There's about 40,000 people in Loughborough. Not that I know anyone. Loughborough also has a market every uh, Thursday and Saturday where you can buy some market goods, which is quite interesting. It's not very good for cycling, but that's probably my fault. It's good to see they can get a, a jacket potato when you're watching the torch, really, so that's nice. It's nice. Um, no convoy. No convoy, but I reckon... They spent a bit of time up at Loughborough University because that's where the money is. And uh, just passing through Loughborough town just to just say hello. But I've been at Loughborough University for quite a bit. You know, which I think the best place for me to be. Maybe I walk up here and and then uh, come back down the other side. Who knows? There's Loughborough for you. So I found the bit that is where the sponsors are. So it's the other side of where I was before. Can you get something you want? This is official media, maybe for the the paper. Don't know how official that is. We've got the Lloyd TSB sponsor bus. So careful. I think they were the people we saw uh, last night out in the lash. So let's see what what they're doing. Then if they're in free or no, nothing free. It's pretty corporate. And this must be the end of the route. Where they pack up. No, I'm trying to work out if I want to be at the end or the beginning.
This is quite good. You can see it coming. You have to get here. Yeah. The friendly, um, the friendly security that comes at the tops really start to kind of people start to gather around now. So I've just been having a coffee. I think I'll stand here. Shouldn't have a coffee and push a bike. The range of baffled citizens, security, and people in suits. Seems to be there. So go down here and see the media. Oh my god.